Okay, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife and welcome back to another species highlights. Now today, what we're gonna to be talking about is one of my all time favorite species of birds that I have ever seen in the wild. Today, we are going to be looking at mot mots, more specifically, the lessons mot mot. Now, mot mots are these medium sized insectivorous birds native to Central America, and they go down into South America as well. Now, what's really, really cool about motmots is they have a lot of unique characteristics that not a lot of other birds share. One of those key characteristics are their racket tails. Now, what I mean by this is motmots have these two long feathers that run along the back, and they come down into these two little paddle-like clumps of feathers towards the end. And then up closer to the uh, main bit of the feathers, the little middle feather, I don't know, spine is bare. And so it's really interesting because in fact, ancient Maya people have a few little stories explaining perhaps what might have happened to the motmots to cause them to have these little bare patches on their tail feathers. And one of my favorites is there was this a king vulture, um, and he enlisted the work of all of the birds to help him build this magnificent, magnificent uh, city or palace. And so all the birds say, okay, yeah, no problem, we'll help you, except for the motmots. Motmots say, forget about it, I'm not doing any of that. And the motmot goes and hides in a, in a tunnel in, in the ground. Uh, but he leaves his tail feathers sticking out. And so one version of the story is that there's a big storm and, and it's raining and branches are falling and the motmot thinks it's safe, but shoop, his tail feathers, a bunch of his feathers get ripped off. Other stories uh, say that these other birds maybe got jealous and they were mad at lazy motmot. So they came over, snuck over to his little hole, pulled out all of his tail feathers. In reality, motmots actually are pruning and preening their own feathers in order to make those racket tails. So what they'll do is they'll actually take those little two tail feathers, they'll kind of swing them up, and they will actually pick out with their beaks some of those little uh, feather filaments so that the ends of the, of the tail feather look like this. And then they go on a little spine and it connects to the rest of the tail feathers. Uh, they are super, super beautiful, super cool birds. Now, like I mentioned before, motmots are insectivorous um, or insectivorous. And what they do is they primarily hunt uh, insects. So they're eating big katydids and praying mantises. Uh, now, safe to say, they will also predate on a variety of vertebrate animals as well. Um, it's not at all uncommon to see motmots eating snakes, frogs, lizards, um, any small animal that they can really get a hold of and swallow, uh, they will attempt to eat. In fact, there's a, there's a really cool behavior that's been documented in motmots where they will actually grab stinging caterpillars that are covered in these spines all over their backs that can inject venom, and they will actually slap these caterpillars on the ground, breaking off a lot of those venom-injecting spines so that they can swallow and eat them safely. Now, many motmots uh, can create a variety of vocalizations, but one of the uh, more popular or famous vocalizations is, is these low hoots. So oftentimes when I was in Costa Rica, uh, you'd be walking through the forest, maybe in the morning, maybe in the evening, and you'd hear this kind of woo woo, woo woo, woo woo. And that is actually the, the main call of these birds. And so it's kind of a deep, uh, kind of guttural almost hooting, kind of owl-like. And oh, it's just one of my absolute favorite sounds to hear because like I said, these are some of my favorite birds to see. Um, so, so let's check out some of this footage that we just got uh, in, back in 2018 in Costa Rica of these motmots.
Well, that's all we have for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Let us know how much you like this video and if you'd like to see more bird videos in the future. Uh, like I said, we've got a ton of footage that never actually made it to the screen. And so now I'm kind of going through and recataloging everything. And so I'm finding a lot of these hidden gems uh, that never made it into their own episodes. And of course, paying due respects and giving them their own episodes. If you guys like these shirts, Jack's World of Wildlife, uh, they're available on Amazon. The link is in the description below. Once again, thank you for watching and tune in next time. You don't want to miss any of these new episodes.